record, record, record. Everything records. All right. <clears throat> Going to be doing some videos here on the Windows 7. So first thing first, if um, you're wondering, can your system handle Windows 7? Well, let's talk about the system requirements. Got up here on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about as I go through it. Um, as far as processor speed, you got you got a 1 gigahertz or faster processors, 32 bit or 64 bit. You can install Windows 7. You want to have at least a gigabyte of RAM, uh, 16 gigs of hard disk space. Uh, if you're using 64 bit, it uses a bit more, 20 gigs. And you want to have a graphics card that's going to support DirectX 9 because uh, it does make use of more graphics card features uh, compared to like Windows XP and I uh, do believe uh, that was optional with Windows Vista I can't remember off the top of my head but um, it's amazing some of the things that will change on that um, so generally if your computer is really about I would say five four to five years old you might have just a little bit of trouble running uh, Windows 7 on it, um, you know, allowing you to have enough RAM on it. Um, generally, I wouldn't bother with a computer that old. I would say if it's something around two or three years, yeah, go ahead. Four or five years, you're really pushing your luck in the first place. Um, so if you have something that's about yeah, two or three years old, you'll be fine and newer, of course. Um, as you can guess, all computers coming out from this point forward are going to have uh, Windows 7 on it. So it's just a matter of, you know, purchasing it. <laughs> um, other features as well that uh, may require additional hardware. Um, when you start getting into the Aero interface, having a higher graphics card is going to help you out. Um, doesn't say it on the features page here, but you want to have at least 256 megabytes of RAM on your graphics card. It's going to allow it to actually make full use of the extra features. Um, if you want to make use of the drive encryption technology BitLocker, um, you have to have a motherboard with the trusted platform module built into it. Um, they mentioned in particular version 1.2. Um, Locker to go requires a USB flash drive, and if you want to run Windows XP mode, which is basically a compatibility mode for anything um, that you want to run with Windows XP, um, you're going to need an additional gigabyte of RAM, another 15 gigs of hard disk space, and a processor that's going to handle virtualization. Um, pretty much any of the AMD Athlons, um, Phenoms. I should say the newer Athlons, the Phenoms, um, the Intel Core 2 Duos, and above, those all have support for that. So, <coughs> um, if you want to make use of some of the things like the Windows Media Center Edition, you need to have a TV tuner card. Basically, um, that'll let you capture things from your TV, your cable service. Um, satellite things like that even um, if you get a radio tuner card it can even make use of that it can actually tune into radio stations and everything else is pretty much obvious internet needs internet access pretty straightforward system requirements very similar to what Windows Vista required um, as I told people before think of Windows 7 as um, Vista second edition um, they went through, they fixed a couple things with it, and they've just generally made it better. Uh, so, and if you watch the rest of videos in the series, you'll see why. And I'm going to combine two videos in one. I was going to do individual ones on this, but this one I think I can kind of combine here. Um, the different editions of Windows Vista. Uh, you got the home, premium, professional and ultimate before with Vista you had um, home 
home premium business uh, ultimate and there was uh, another one above that that was enterprise uh, that you really didn't see and um, they've basically just cut down the different editions here to make it a lot more streamlined kind of how they used to do it before with the addition of now there's an ultimate edition uh, the low down cut on it is home premium if you're a home user it's probably going to be perfectly fine for you use it um, the only thing you're not going to be able to do with home premium is connect to a domain you're not going to have technology like BitLocker which means drive encryption um, and the full backup and restore feature is different um, on home premium you can do a backup but you don't do a full backup it, it's it's different uh, unfortunately I don't have a copy of home premium to show you the exact difference on but just know the backup is a bit odd on that and um, the only difference between professional and ultimate is um, basically the inclusion of BitLocker. BitLocker is really it. <laughs> um, and also uh, extra language options. Uh, differences between the 32 and 64-bit version basically identical. Um, driver support um, you may have issues with 64-bit drivers but that's just Windows in general. Even if you got 64-bit Windows XP 64-bit uh, Windows Vista, 64-bit Windows 7. Um, I've just seen 64-bit driver issues all the way around on every operating system. Yes, Macintosh has some issues here and there on 64-bit stuff. Um, found out they really are just switching to 64-bit now. <laughs> um, all the way. Parts of their operating system weren't. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, the general gist there of what each edition is. Um, if you run a business, go ahead and get professional edition. At some point, you're going to set up a domain controller. You'd want to be able to connect to that. Um, plus, you get the extra backup functionality and the ability to run in XP mode. Um, don't know if I mentioned that before. You can only run the XP mode if you have professional or higher. Home edition, you can't. So, just get that out of the way. And the pricing, as you can see here, home edition, you're looking at 120 bucks. Professional, 200. It's pretty much the same pricing Microsoft has had for years on their home and professional versions. And ultimate is another 20 bucks on top of that, so 220 bucks. I'm going to be running Windows 7 Ultimate. I keep wanting to say Vista. I'm so used to it. <laughs> Uh, Windows 7 Ultimate for these videos. So some things, if you notice, aren't on yours, and I do have. That's it. Um, they kind of did away with the Ultimate Extras. Um, I haven't seen any mention of it from Microsoft. Um, haven't seen anything in the operating system that actually will let me download Ultimate Extras. With uh, Windows Vista, it was kind of like a joke. You basically I had the option to download moving video wallpapers and a couple card games. It was stupid. So that's it. That's the requirements for Windows 7. That's the different versions of it. And now we can get on to the other videos. Stop. Go over here. Where is my U stream?